Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who might be new here, thanks for clicking on this video. I'm a full-time working mom. I have four young children and I love making videos on fashion, beauty, and mommy lifestyle. And also my recent reselling journey as well on Poshmark. So if those things sound at all interesting to you, please consider checking out my other videos and subscribing to my channel as well. So for today's video, I wanted to go over my August favorites. And I do realize that we're basically in the middle of September already and I haven't put out this August favorites video. But for whatever reason, time just gets away from me and I just haven't had a chance to film this. So I'm excited to share with you guys today at least um, a few favorites I've had for the month of August. And as you all know, of course, August is really the one last full month of summer, at least in my opinion. Even though it's September here um, and still quite hot outside, it still feels like summer, at least here in Northern California. Um, it definitely isn't quite the same. Uh, my oldest son is now a second grader and is already back to school. So that back to school season really kind of marks, at least in my mind, uh, the end of summer. So I try to enjoy my last few bits of summer in August and a lot of the products I have to share with you today in terms of my favorites really kind of reflect that. So I just have five favorites and I'll just kind of take you through them and let me know if you have any favorites uh, for the month of August or even the month of September and things that you think I need to check out as well. So just getting started and jumping to this video, I want to show you my favorite beauty product of the month. And it's kind of an oldie but goodie. It's definitely not a brand new product by any means. It's a product that I had used before and kind of um, forgot about a little bit and then decided to go back to it uh, really for the past month. And it's my brow product. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I have it in the color medium brown. And prior to kind of rediscovering this product, I was actually using the IT Cosmetics um, Brow Power in Universal Taupe, as you may have seen in other videos, which I absolutely loved. But when I got reintroduced to this product, just because I decided to try to repurchase it again, um, I fell in love. And largely because I love how thin the pencil is. So for those of you who haven't seen this, this is what the pencil looks like at the end here. So it's a super thin line. And that's what makes it so cool in my opinion. So I'll just swatch it a little bit here. And it's really universal in the sense that you can make as thick or as thin a line as you want. And I think it's just perfect. I just love this very fine tip. You don't have to sharpen it. It's just a kind of twist up mechanism here. And it does have the spoolie on the end. So really been a favorite of mine. I don't know, I've just been really loving it. I think I'm gonna kind of switch over to this for now at least until I find something new that comes along. But again, it's this uh, Anastasia Brow Wiz. Um, really check it out, I think, if you haven't done so already. So the next item I wanted to share with you guys was a favorite that I've used in all of our vacations recently. So during the summer we took a couple of trips. We drove to Southern California as you've probably seen in other videos. We went to the beach a couple of times and we actually did get back from another trip to Southern California. So I had to go to a meeting in Los Angeles about a week ago so I decided to take my two middle kids that weren't in school yet um, down with us so we could visit my parents and also to go to Disneyland as well. So these next couple products came along with me and I've been just loving them. So the first is here, a pair of flip-flops or slippers as I used to call them in Hawaii. Um, and they're these. So of course they don't look like anything real fancy, but they're from Vionic. And Vionic, if you're not familiar, is a brand that specializes in orthotic footbeds. But recently they've been coming out with a lot more trendy styles. And um, this is just their basic flip-flop and it's called the Tide, if I'm correct. And you can see there's some nice kind of patent looking details on the strap. Otherwise, just a really plain black flip flop or sandal. And um, the bottom here looks like this. It's called Orth Heel. And I've literally had this pair of slippers, I'd say, for probably five years or so. Just really, really long time. And they still, in my opinion, look almost new. I mean, there's no significant wear. And I've beaten these things up. I wear this everywhere, especially on vacation, going to the beach or warm weather. They're just perfect because I like to have an open toe kind of sandal or casual flip flop. But oftentimes, the ones you find out there just really are not great for your feet. And as I'm getting older, I definitely have more foot problems um, and pain. So this really, really helps. So as you can see here, there's a really high art support. So that's what makes this unique. 
unique and in my opinion very very comfortable I don't have too too high of an arch but I definitely have a little bit of an arch so I need some kind of support in wearing a flip-flop like this so um, I think this just works out perfectly for me I have this in a couple different colors they have different styles of these and recently they've also been expanding their line of orthotic footwear and I would never have guessed that I would be promoting an orthotic footwear brand uh, to be honest with you because I love style and fashion so much it just doesn't seem to go hand in hand but they really have been coming out with more trendy styles and as you've seen in some of my other Poshmark videos Bionic is definitely a brand that I'm always excited to find when I'm sourcing because there is a strong following for it and it seems to be a very very popular brand so I've sold a couple of pairs of Bionic in my Poshmark closet as well including a really cute pair of fringe suede booties and also a pair of uh, slip-on sneaker um, so those styles are really really trendy and they all incorporate this very good for you orthotic footbed so if you haven't checked out Vionic products definitely consider doing so but I particularly love their um, tied sandals so the next item that I took with us um, on our vacations was my travel bag and this is another oldie but goodie. You've seen this in one of my other review videos before, but it's my beautiful Celine Phantom tote with tassels and I have this in the natural calf skin in the color tan. So in my opinion, this is one of my most perfect travel bags. I just love how it's just a huge bucket style that you can dump everything in. I love this leather. It's so soft and it really wears beautifully and you really want it to wear a little bit. That's what's so nice about this natural calf skin. It does get some nicks and scratches in it, but that's what makes it so nice. You can kind of buff out any major scratches, but otherwise it's nice to show a little bit of wear, at least in my opinion, with this type of leather. Um, so I think it's a perfect travel companion. It's also pretty subtle, so it's not really flashy with a lot of, you know, monogram prints or any flashy designer labels. So it's good for traveling with the kids and um, to different uh, places across the country at least um, for us this summer so it's worked out really well it does have the embossing of Celine right there on the front and overall as you can see it's held up pretty well and I kind of beat this thing up as well it's gone through all the checkpoints the TSA and really a great travel companion I just shove it under my seat in front of me and it seems to work out pretty well for that I just got back from vacation like I said so it's chock full of all our stuff which I won't go into for this video but if you're interested in checking out my full review of this bag in addition to my other Celine bag I'll link it down below for you but I've just fallen in love with this as a travel bag I think it's one of my most perfect travel bags so the next product I wanted to highlight in the kids section as I do every month and for this month again it's a little bit of an outdoorsy kid toy and they have so many different varieties of this stuff but I wanted to share with you this our kids have just been really loving this and it's this little bug bucket insect habitat um, little toy that we got on Amazon I'll try to link this or similar products down below and it's a great toy. It's very inexpensive. I think it's perfect for birthday gifts. And for this time of year when it's warm outside, we're traveling, um, we've taken this along with us on our road trips. And the kids love just finding little bugs and creatures to study. And it's educational as well, which I think is always an extra bonus. So it comes with these little bug uh, items here. So a little butterfly net. It has these little vials where you can put in your bugs to study them and it has other little fun containers and things and it has some tweezers and other little bug catcher products so um just really a fun item that encourages kids to get outside and to do a little bit of learning and study some bugs so items like this i think make really really great gift ideas but also are perfect just to kind of stash in your little closet at home and pull out on um, a hot summer day when the kids are bored nothing else to do um, it's definitely great to kind of pull out a fun new toy and get them outside and thinking a little bit more about the environment around them so definitely something to check out um, if you haven't seen these already and then I just have one final product, and it's my food product that I highlight every month. And it's something a little bit more healthy this month. And again, it's from Costco, though, because again, with a family of six now, I shop at Costco a ton. So a lot of my food products do come from Costco, I will admit. This, of course, is not sponsored by Costco, but I definitely uh, support their business. Let me just say that. So for the item of um, my food item for this month, I wanted to share with you these little organic hummus cups. And they carry these at Costco. It's just the Costco Kirkland brand. But you don't need to get it at Costco. You can get these anywhere, I think. But it's been just really a lifesaver for us. So um, my daughter just recently proclaimed, I'll say, that she loves 
hummus and carrots and she goes through food phases like I think a lot of kids do but all of a sudden she says hey I love hummus and carrots I don't know where she got that from I think she probably saw one of her friends eating them at school so now she decided this is her thing so I was super excited to find these little individual packets it's just perfect um, meal size portions for them and I have baby carrots along with them it's super easy snack and it definitely beats some of the other snacks she would otherwise ask for so just a really convenient handy packet of hummus and it tastes pretty good as well I mean I've tried this too um, but it's really good small packet of snack to bring along with us when we go places and even just eating them at home it's gluten free as well so definitely check out these little organic hummus packets I'm always on the lookout for items like this where they're healthy but easy to transport and really great snack ideas for our kids so definitely check out these little packets of hummus Okay, so there you have it. Again, this is a super quick video. I just wanted to highlight some of my favorites over the month of August. Again, kind of a summertime theme as I was winding down our summer months. And I'm excited to share with you my favorites for the month of September in a few weeks as well as we head into the back to school season. If you have any favorites you think I should check out, please let me know down below. Otherwise, thank you for watching. And please don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up if you like favorites videos, but also consider subscribing to my channel as well. Otherwise, thanks again, and I will plan to see you again in my next video. Thanks. Bye.